you saw previously was a demonstration of controlling Acer RGB keyboard programmatically in Linux kernel. Welcome to my journey of hacking the Linux kernel and making my laptop's RGB keyboard come to life. This is not your typical zero to hero course, but rather a wild ride full of surprises and unexpected challenges. As you may already know, the Acer Helios Predator 3x66 laptops come with a super cool Forzone RGB keyboard and turbo mode. But sadly, these features only work in Windows using the official Acer application named Predator Sense. Obviously, as a Linux user, I wanted to use and control these features in Linux, especially with CLI, so that I would look more cool. I spent hours scouting the internet for a solution, but no solution was available. I even tried running a Windows VM into Linux to run Predator Sense, but let's just say it didn't exactly work as I was planned. I took a look at the open RGB project, but they also didn't support my model or similar models. Well, I simply ignored the keyboard color for a while, but this was my first ever RGB keyboard, so I couldn't ignore it anymore. I really wanted to make it work, but contribution to Linux kernel was more likely a dream for me rather than a goal. I was thinking maybe it was my turn to give back to the source community by creating something new and awesome. The only problem I had no idea where to even start. Before we dive into the nitty gritty of kernel hacking, let me remind you to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out next video. This also encourages me to create more videos like this. So, I did what any sane person would do. I broke down the problem into smaller chunks and created a roadmap. It was like building a puzzle, only the puzzle was on fire and I was wearing a blindfold. And here is what I came up with. 1. Figure out how software communicates with hardware. 2. Reverse engineer the payload or the message that changes the keyboard's color. 3. Find a similar implementation of, the, of this protocol in the Linux kernel. 4. Implement the missing feature as a kernel module or a simple program. And 5. Merge the feature into the Linux kernel. So, hold on to your hats and join me in the next video as we dive into the inner working of the Predator Sense software and figure out how it communicates with the hardware.